Welcome to Nanakwe Sydney Hotel, my channel. Uh, my second video will be based on logarithm. So I'll guide you to solve any logarithm question during your final examination. So, no. So let's deal with the first properties of logarithm. So the first property, but you have to know that how to write a logarithm, let's say in a logarithm state. So log, let's say log a b. So in this case, this becomes the log and this becomes the base. Normally when you see any log, when you see this, this means this is in base 10. So the first property, so this you have to know this first. So the first property you have to know is you have to apply the NSS uh, formula or format. So in case you see addition, you reverse it to what? Multiplication. And in case you see division, you revise uh, reverse it to uh, let's say subtraction. So the first First property, let's do it. Multiplication first. So log A B. So this is a multiplication. So in case you see this, you have to take one base. So log A is multiplication, so you have to reverse it. That is a property. So this will become positive. So log A plus log B. This is the first property. So this, let's do it an example, the first example. When you have log, let's say, 2, 2 times 3. Yeah, let's say this. In case you have this, you have to choose one base. So let's choose this case. Oh, this is in base 10 already. So let's take the first to log 2 plus log. Right. This is the first property of log. So let's do with the second property. This is it. Let's do with the second property. So the second property is addition, then reverse it to subtraction. So log A over B. So when you want to solve this in this division sign in log, just reverse it as we do in indices. So log log a minus log b. So let's solve for example. First example under under the division. So log. 4 divided by log, let's say 2. So it will be take the log, log 4 minus log 2. There is a second property you have to do. And let's say the last property, or the last but one property. Yes. Any log 1 to any base is equal to 0. Any log to any log 1 to any base is equal to 0. So log 1 to the base 1000 or 1000 is equal to 0. That is the third property of the logarithm. So this okay. So let's deal with the last one. So, log a exponent b in case you see this you have to reverse this or interchange to bring this first here and leave this alone so this will be this will come here so it will be b log a so whenever you see this also you interchange or reverse so this will come to become a then this will come with it Thank you for watching another Senior Second video. Hope you hear more from me. Thanks.